Hello, Rebel G-Man Division 10A. Welcome back to the actual second last, um, the penultimate, of course, recap of the season. Um, we're damn close now, boys. We are damn close to the end. Uh, this is a little bit late because, unfortunately, literally my entire family, including my children and my fiance, have been sick. I had a really sore throat the other night, but I got better. Nobody else has. Um, McNugget isn't here because he's somewhere else doing more important things. Apparently, he's basking in the uh, in the, the 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 glory of his game this week, where he won three uh, one. We're not going to talk about the, the games this week, really, but we kind of are when we got the leaderboard. But anyway, so it's just been me, so it might be a little bit short than usual. There'll be less Scottishness, so you've probably infinite instantly made the, the recap one hundred percent more understandable, um, which is nice. Um, right, so looking at the, the week 10 uh, recap, we had two thin courts taking on the Highland Avengers. That was a 1 1 draw. Big, big draw for Gramzilla. Um, managing to uh, not what not managing to wood elf the uh, the chaff of the Highland Avengers, and the chaff obviously not managing to kill Gramzilla either. Um, thank you, parents. T took a massive win over Rap Scallywags. I watched this match and it was brutal. We're gonna look into the Rap Scallywags game. Um, a team, in fact, but let's just say there was a couple of deaths. One of them was very high profile. We will see really, really soon uh, exactly what happened there. The Mark of Nurgle took a 2 1 over Zamaji Severa in what turned into an actual pitch clear by about turn 15. There was literally no Norse left. Um, so we're going to look at what's left of the Norse team there as well. Crocodile Dundees took a massive 2 0 win over Cirque de Lyos. There was a lot of huge results in this week. Damn Hard took a massive 2 1 win over Glad. I, I keep saying massive, and it is massive. I love this. Orkanudo's BBC, 3 0 down to maybe a season. I mean, that right there was the probably one of the matches of the week we, we identified. Two Thin Courts versus Highland Avengers was the match to watch. But this was one of the matches that was obviously on our radar because it was so important to Muppetillo. And going 3 0 down, and, and trust me, we haven't even looked at the team yet, but we're going to look at the team in a minute. There will be Fs pressed in chat. They will be Fs. So, leaderboard. Leaderboard, of course. Uh, McNaughton has played an extra game. He's played his match this week. If we look really quickly, McNaughton, uh, the Dan Horde, Cirque the Laws, and Galar Death Grips have all played. So, that really leaves, as far as the playoff run, the, the chase for the top. That was Two Thin Courts and Ork and Nudos um, to see, you know, to really kind of. And the Rap Scallywags as well. We're still in. So, we're going to look at what's actually going to be needed now, now that we know a couple of key points on the radar and instantly Lewis M has not made it he, there's no way he can get up there in points he's played his game it's it's it, it is over the run the kiss live run is over and um we'll all be left to mourn his lack of dice where they needed them at the end of the they, they so good at the start of the season started off so strong so consistent through the season and just dropped off towards the end it, it was rough indeed all right so we're looking at the points required to get into planes now McNaughton has six wins, four draws. That is a massive twenty-two points. So that's that's one of the pillars. Twenty-two points. Muppetillo has twenty-one with the game still to play. So theoretically, that is up to twenty-four points he can get. Uh, twenty-two points would be drawn with Nugget on a draw and on a loss. We'll be sat there. We've got a twenty-one as the borderline. Two Thin Courts has still to play as we did identify versus Zamaji Severa. So, Gremzilla can score a maximum of, what are we on, 12, 16 points. That's not enough. That's not enough, boys. That's a 19. That means that, frankly, no one can make it anymore. It is locked in. We want to say a big congratulations to both Muppetillo and McNaughton, who will be our two playing candidates, regardless of what happens in Muppetillo's game this week. He cannot be overhauled now um so there we go and helgen not finishing bottom of the table with Zenergo, which is something at the moment i mean it may change if latches shows another another victory uh could change the face of that but there we have it we we have these two we have chaffs and we have orcs i'm gonna look at the teams and see what we're sending and and what we're sending to the swiss as well because obviously we will be watching what's going on in the swiss too uh we'll take a look at that when we get there, but we have... Uh, it's still a team. I mean, 
It's a nice looking team. He's got a couple of dirty players. Two second dirty player. I'm so proud of you, Hardmaster. You did you did the right thing, my friend. I like the double dirty player. I like the double if you've got sixteen, you need at least two dirty players because you're gonna foul a lot. And he does. He really does. Uh Meshuggah, let's hear how he's Saurus have come along. There's still these two, un unskilled, but it's still a nice looking team. It's it just it just does the business. Four SPP needed for Walter to get a third skill, which would probably be break tackle. Ten SPP for Mick, which will also probably be break tackle. Still aiming for the block on those two. And what can I say about this team that I've not said before? It's it's a nice lizard team. Now as a Majesty Severa, we did identify that they'd had a bit of a bit of a thing. So we've got Titansky Zamaj, who's an MNG, that's good. We've got the Ulfwerner, who's also out on MNG. And we did suffer a death right here, but it's not too important. I mean, look, the team's, the core of the team's still pretty pretty present. Pr present. In fact, Belly is imagining one SPP on an Ulf, two SPP on the Runner, who's got Guard, which would be super good because then he can get Dog Blodge. Two, you know, that's a pretty easy one. Uh, Lyman needs one SPP there, but you probably don't want it because he's a, he's a dirty player. But you know the team is 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 in a good spot. It's not in a terrible position to to progress onwards, and I, I like this team. I, it's, for a Norse team, I, I don't know how you keep running in, in leagues. I I just don't. They're too so fragile, and they rely on punching things. But this is this is the big one. F's gentlemen, F's. Look who's dead. And we did say this was a problem with this team. Slizzy took a dead apple, dead from a mighty blow dark elf. Now we did say the problem was. If that happened, Marshall Splatters was not fit for purpose. He hadn't got the SPP required. We also lost a rookie gutter runner, which is just just so painful. Um, never got the chance to develop. We've also got old Cheesy Baztad, who is dead. Minus armor. He's so dead. Um, this team, it, it's so good. And then it's just lost one of its best players. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> what can I say? What can I say? Poor, poor Yasarian. It sounds like he's going back to Augers, potentially, um, after the losses that he decided that rats were not for him. They're just too fragile. Now, we do have, obviously, McNaughton, who has look at all his levels. Like, levels galore, and he's clearly saving them to see what he's playing against. And, of course, being a playing coach, he does get this MNG back, so he's going to have his dirty player in position to do dirty player things in planes, which is good for him. He's got a couple of mighty blow, a couple of guard, two more level ups there, so he can probably scale into guard. I, he hasn't told me what he's got, but he, even assuming all normals, you know, you're looking at guard there, guard there, just masses of guard, uh, which would be so good. Incredible Nessie already has break tackle and block. I would love to see something like Frenzy on this, because I just utterly love Frenzy on, um, on Bull Centaurs. I really do. Uh, I, if it's a double... Dodge, pretty much, is a no-brainer. Yeah, it's 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 doing good, to be honest. Considering it lost Bookfast Barnes, I mean, the team's not in a terrible spot. Now, Latchis, who did who did Yasarian in, so dirty. Uh, you look at this team. It's really good. He got Block on his uh, Witch Elf, which we expected. Uh, Dr. Uhurt took a couple out with him on the way. It's just that all the tackle is just so hard to deal with. The one thing... I have to say, um, the one thing I have to say is that he didn't use, I think he showed a little too much mercy, obviously Yasarian will be thinking he showed more than enough mercy, but um, but he, he didn't foul nearly as much as, um, as he could have. And there were several times chat was screaming for a gutter and a foul. And, and Latchis didn't choose to do it. And I would love to see more use of that dirty player in matches that were a li that little bit closer. But what can we say? He did the job. Beat Yusarian. Massive, massive victory there for Latchis. And I think he's going to be happy going into the next into the Swiss knowing that he's got what it takes to take on such a high caliber opponent. Um, Nurgle, McHelgen, is is still got Earl Angina is still sat on five out of six or whatever. The the Beast of Nurgle still is, has Bodge. It's just it's, he needs your hand soon, and he needs he's got all these wrestles. He needs some dirty player, but it's it's the beginnings of of a really really powerful team. 
give it another season. When we come back, and, you know, when you look at this at the end of next season, you're going to think, why are we having so much trouble? It's amazing now. And that's exactly how how Nurgle work. So, he's got a lot of good ahead of him. And I think he's finally, I haven't spoke to him since his couple of big wins, a couple of really high-profile wins as well. He's really starting to enjoy the team. It's start, starting to fit in place, I think, somewhat for him. And uh, it's kind of just how Nurgle work. Now looking at looking at this, this is this is how the team ends the season. Couple of movement busts and key places. You still you need to fire this guy. He's just or stick him on the LOS, I suppose. You could probably stick him on the LOS, but I feel like movement minus movement hurts Kislev Lyman a lot more than most other linemen because of the leap. Uh, it's a nice looking team. It's it's a really good looking team, and he's gonna he's gonna cause someone a lot of headaches next season with his team. But yeah. It's still Kislev. <laughs> so, whatever. <laughs> I haven't got McNugget here to stop me being mean. <laughs> oh, man. And look at this, right? Where every... You look at um, Puya Sarin's team, and it's suffered so much attrition. This team, which appears designed to, to blow up in your face. I mean, look. More than a fairy is still alive. And he's got he's an AV6 goblin. He's also got another wrestle to go with it. It's just such a good underworld team. Chugman Milk is going to cause some, you know, there's going to be some poor, unsuspecting dudes, you know, his next two opponents in the Swiss who don't know what's coming for them are about to get hit by this they they just don't know what, what what's what's about to happen the, the poor, unsuspecting sods, it's going to be bad it's going to be bad and it's going to be awesome, now this team it has suffered, it's suffered Please fire. He enjoys the pain. Basman's. Please just, just put him out of his misery. He might enjoy it, but but come on, dude. Come on, get rid of him. He's just he's a strength two elf, and not a good strength two elf. <laughs> the rest of the team's really good though. I I I think this team is going to be dangerous. Um, well, it's proven to be dangerous because it did very very bad things to Mopatillo. Let's have a look what it did to Mopatillo. Because Mopatillo used to have a killer, right? And him and Mopatilla went, went blow for blow, by the way. It might have been a 3-0 in game. Uh, but it was also... What that didn't tell you was it was three deaths on each side. So, like, it killed his killer. <laughs> his killer. What an orc. His killer got killed by a high elf, man. I mean, it's just embarrassing. You just... You don't want to see that. You know, when, that, when, our, you know when, when the rest of the team goes home and tells that orc's family, yeah, what, what killed him? A high elf. Like... It's not going to be good. And that, that leaves him with two rookie blitzers. So he's actually in... As good as the four Black Orcs with Block R, and they're so close to leveling, they're so close to leveling. I mean, he's in a real bind now, because he hasn't got the blitzer strength anymore. And I'm I'm really worried for Muppetillo as to what's going to happen in his first playing game. It's going to be a real challenge for the poor guy. And uh, I will be watching it very, very closely. He did have the bank to replace the blitzer. So it's now quite a sleek team. I mean, you know, Orcs can always do work simply by just being massive threats with their, you know, strength 4 block everywhere. Just generally being, you know, a pain. But I just... It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a struggle, and I feel for the guy. I really feel for the guy. Some huge, huge losses. Um, now, the final team of the season, two, Gremzilla, didn't quite make it, put in a... A very valiant fight. I have already spoken to Gremzilla separately uh, with regards to going to chat to some Wood Elf coaches. I suggested to get some advice on on where to go with the team. Um, so he knows he knows what's up. He doesn't need too much telling. But with Seraphim Sepia out, that that last game is gonna suck. <laughs> it's really gonna suck because he's he's such a good player. Um, but you know you've still got Nuln Oil who really needs a touchdown um, or a Kaz. So, it's not the end of the universe. It's a nice looking Wood Elf team. This, if you look at the other div I cover, I've got Hargrim's Wood Elves, who have literally just suffered all of the attrition in the universe. Um, all of the attrition in the universe. And compared to that, this team looks great. This team looks brilliant. So, um, yeah, I definitely think this is going to do well in its second season. And Gremzilla knows who to speak to. And uh, and he'll go from there. Now, looking at the schedule, we, like I say, it's a bit of a shorter one. But uh, without McNugget, there's only one voice. There's only so much I can say. And also, kind of some stuff's happened. I don't want to repeat myself. And I don't feel like I need to 
go over things in more depth than you know you know what's up by now you know what's up by now so we've got two thin courts versus Samaji Savara and I think these are two AV7 teams who are both going to be playing to not die at this point that they want to go into the Swiss with as much of a team as they possibly can uh, so I really don't see a world where they go all out to try and do like massive shootouts this isn't a, t a game that either of them needs to win. None of these games are must-wins anymore. It's more about keeping the team alive. And Crocs and Dundees versus Ref Sky Houses is another brilliant example of that. Because, frankly, the Dundees <sighs> do not want to be seeing that claw coming towards them. And we've already talked about how incredibly vulnerable to explosion Underworld are. Uh, explosion? Implosion? Plosion. Plosion in a direction. They can plod, is what we're trying to say. Uh, so both of the, again, both these teams will probably just be playing for. I, I, I reckon it's very likely we see a lot of draws. Thank you, parents are probably going to want to push for. It. Oh, I don't know the momentum behind them. They've just taken down such a big team. Mupp you can bet Muppetillo is going to want to see one of those blitzers, probably looking for two touchdowns to try and at least find Mighty Blow one of his one of his rookie blitzers. I would very much like uh, like to see that happen uh, from a Muppetillo perspective. He really needs to get into a world where um, he's got a blitter or mighty blow, I think, going to planes. And finally, maybe a season taking on the mark of Nurgle. <sighs> the poor elves. Like, this isn't a good matchup for, for high elves now. That The Nurgle are getting developed enough that they can actually start dealing with, with all of those tricks. Um, so, Basman's just buckle up. <laughs> just Maybe take an extra apple. You know, I would... This isn't actually a bad... Whoever's got the TV, you know, a disadvantage in all of these matchups probably wants to be looking towards the extra apothecary because none of you need to win anymore. Just just, just survive. Keep your teams alive for the Swiss and for next season so we can see you do well in a numbered division. <laughs> and uh, that's about it, really. It's, it's Sorry it's not as long. Sorry it was late. Uh, my throat's still kind of sore, so I'm 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 just I wanted to just get something out, you know. You know, you guys I've talked about it already. You guys know I love covering this division, uh, chatting about the teams, chatting to you about the games. But I just, you know, there's I, I got not much more to say really. So thank you very much for putting in such an entertaining week. Oh my days, just so much happened, and let's all just wish Yasari in the best on his next team. <laughs> What a poor guy. I feel so bad for him. I really, really do. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Uh, I shall see you on next week where we'll be basically reviewing the last, what, six, eight teams? Eight teams to look at next week because four of them are in a final position. You know, they don't have any more to say or do. Um, Raph Scallywags probably don't care, actually. Oh, wait, yeah, it was glad Death Grips have already played, so Raph Scallywags probably don't care. What happens to the team? They don't have any claws. So Crocs and Alden uh, It's going to be open season on AV7. And I feel like Yasarian just doesn't care. So I totally got those two mixed up because I'm on my own and had no one to correct me. But I figured it out in the end. Because I'm awesome. Or not. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. I will see you for the final. Where we talk some more about what's coming next. Don't forget McNugget and um, Muffetilla after you finish that game. Take your tickets as soon as possible. If you need... MNG's cleared, let an admin know immediately. McNugget, you definitely have no excuse because you are an admin. Uh, Muffetillo, if you need MNG's cleared after Thank You Parents beats you up in the manner of elves, <laughs> let us know, please. Uh, otherwise, take your plane tickets. They will be issued by the end of the weekend, probably. Uh, good luck in planes. Good luck in the Swiss. I'm looking forward to seeing how you all do. So I will see you next week. Take care, folks. It's a classic.